Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1791, sum a column ignoring error cells. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today's question sent in via YouTube from Mohammed D. In a column he has uh, some numbers and these numbers are uh, all formulas, but some of the items have been deleted so he has reference errors. And when he comes down here and does a sum at the bottom, of course, any uh, error in that sum range is going to cause the sum to become reference uh, reference error itself. How can he add up just the numeric cells? All right, well, if you have Excel 2010 or newer, the way to do this is aggregate. Uh, we want the sum function, so 9 tab, comma, and we want to ignore error values. Now, he actually used the word subtotal uh, in his question, and if you wanted to ignore hidden rows and other subtotal functions, then you would want to use three here. Hidden rows, error values, nested subtotal, and aggregate functions. I'm just going to use six right now, and then the range is this range here. And we will get an answer. All right, Aggregate is a great function, but you have to have Excel 2010 in order for it to work. What if you don't have Excel 2010, if you have something earlier? Then we're going to do um, equal if, and we're going to do is number well, if is number of all of these cells, this is a formula I'm taking from Mike Gervin's Control Shift Enter book. If it is a number, then we want that corresponding cell, otherwise, we want a zero. Uh, let's see that completes the if that's going to return an entire array of, an array of values. So we have to put it inside of a wrapper function such as sum and hold down Control and Shift and press Enter in order to get the answer. That creates an array formula. Hold down Control Shift. Enter. So two different ways to go. Hopefully, Mohammed has Excel 2010 or newer, and you can just use aggregate. Uh, you get all the goodness of subtotal uh, with the advantage of being able to ignore error cells. Otherwise, uh, back to this array formula with Control Shift Enter. Well, I want to thank Mohammed for sending that question in. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time.